welcome back, uh, everyone. Um, so I'm um, going to plan to do is um, I'm going to kind of wrap these pencils all the way around this um, block of wood, which I think is American oak. I think this this inside, but you're not really going to see that anyway. Uh, so I'm going to wrap all this around here, um, and that's going to form kind of our uh, pencil base. So what I might do is I might super glue. I might super glue all of these around. So I'm gonna glue all these up, secure that in. I might chop the tops off as well because I'm gonna need to sort of continue up here a bit more with the pencils. So we'll stagger them so they're in different kind of angles. So um, I'll get on and do that now and then I'll, uh, I'll show you how far I've got with that. Okay, so as you can see here with this pencil uh, project, this is the vase. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting another layer of pencils onto here. So there's two layers of pencils so far. Then you've got this centre piece of wood here. So I'm going to carry on building this out. At the moment I'm gluing these on um, rather than just sort of like putting them all into a pot, which ideally what I want to do is get them into here, I think. Uh, so I'm gluing them all up at the moment. So I'll come back to you once I've finished gluing a few more layers on here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now with this is I'm going to uh, chop this down. So I've got three layers of pencils in here. Um, so I don't need it this big. Um, so I'm going to just going to chop this down a little bit here, and I'm just going to take the top off of here on the bandsaw. All these offcuts here as well from the pencils. I'm going to hang on to all these because uh, I think we could probably make something neat out of that. So uh, never track anything like this away if you're cutting pencils up. Keep hold of it, stick it in the drawer somewhere, and you'll always find use for something. It's very difficult to hollow out a um, you know quite a long piece. So what you normally have to do is um, cut it in half, um, basically so you can get to the bottom end and then uh, you do, then you glue it back on and then you can do the other end. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to glue, I'm going to get, I'm going to put a piece of this wood inside uh, the middle like I've done in there, so that was already in there. Uh, this one hasn't got a piece in there so I've left that hollow. Um, but what I'm, I think I'm going to do is I am going to put this piece in Um, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to cut this in half um, right down the middle there where the pencils are. So, Okay, so what I've uh, decided to do now with these, because they've actually turned out to be quite large anyway, um, originally I was going to basically cut this up and put a piece of wood inside and then basically have this on top of here. But I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculously massive. So it doesn't need to be that big at all. So now I've cut these up and sanding these down, I've got blocks obviously for the top of the uh, vase and for the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna make two. We can get two vases out here. But what I'm gonna do now is I've just sanded these down. I'm gonna glue these up, leave them overnight. And basically um, I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna set them all into resin. Um, and then we're gonna sort of start hollowing out and, and making and shaping the, the vase. So uh, this is obviously gonna form the base here. May well flip this round yet, don't know. Might have the, the light one at the top. Um, and then, uh, then you've got a little bit of the top here as well. But with one of these, I've got an idea to kind of make this a little bit more interesting on one of these. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna work out yet, but we'll see how it goes.
You want me to show you how this pencil uh, vase is coming on? There. That's how it's coming on. No pencils left. Where are they all gone? There they are. <laughs> I failed miserably with this pencil vase. Um, I know why as well. Um, because I've basically used round pencils on this. Um, they haven't gone together very securely um, and they have just basically fallen off is probably the word. Um, more fell off and then more fell off I thought that'd be right just make it smaller then more fell off and then eventually there was nothing left so um, now I've got another one that I'm doing at the moment which basically will work out much better um, which is this one here now this is uh, the other piece to the uh, the other vase but this one I've set in resin so I won't have this problem that I've just had the one that's fallen to pieces because the one that's just fallen to pieces was not set in resin. This one is. So when I turn this one, there will be a different result. I'm pretty sure of it. But in the meantime, obviously I've got this piece to deal with. But I've had another idea. And the other idea is I picked this, these up the other day, quite colourful little uh, plastic uh, sort of mosaic tiles I suppose you could call them, um, and what I kind of thought I'd do, if I pop you up here if you can see. Guys, this is how far I've got so far with this thing. This is actually looking pretty cool, actually. Um, I've no idea what it's going to be now. Well, it's going to have to be a vase, isn't it? Because what else is it going to be? It, it can't. It can't be much else, to be fair. So it's going to have to be a kind of a vase. I'm going to need to um, kind of inlay some resin inside here. I don't know how to do that yet, but I'll work that out. Um, when I've finished all this. Okay, so this is all um, stuck down now. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I think this is going to look quite nice, actually, um, after all that. Um, let's hope so, anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just mixing up some resin, um, two-part epoxy resin, this is. Um, so I got this off of eBay. You get it in bulk. So uh, pretty good stuff, actually. Um, I'll leave the link below as well so you can see where I got this from as well. But, no, so I'm just going to mix some powder with this. And what I've got for this is basically this brass metal powder. Um, I'm going to mix in here. Quite a thick uh, paste as you can see. Just just basically how we need it really for this, uh, for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and... Uh, Get this uh, inside. Um, I've just basically covered the entire uh, tiles uh, with this um, resin um, and mixed up with this brass metal powder. I didn't. Hopefully, it will uh, look alright when it's finished. We will see. Um, back up on the lathe 
after I filled in some of the holes that I had with it. Um, I used the um, milliputs to fill in the holes on this. Uh, not really the ideal situation if I'm honest. Um, could have done with knocking up some more resin but I'd run out of the gold dust that I had. So I kind of improvised and used some of the milliputs. It's okay but it's not fantastic. But um, there we go, so I've just uh, put some Yorkshire grit on at the moment. Sanded this back to 240. Take the base off now. And then uh, then we're done, I think, with this one. Okay, I've finished. Um, I have to say and be honest that um, that was a complete nightmare, if I'm honest. Um, I had all sorts of problems uh, making this, as you've seen throughout the video, but actually, you've only seen half of it. Um, here it is. Now, from there, it looks pretty cool. That's as, that's as far as I'm going to get. <laughs> no, I'm pretty happy to show you closer. But, uh, but I improvised on a number of occasions uh, and uh, I made quite a lot of mistakes. It came out okay. I mean, it's it's an odd, it's a strange piece. Um, it's not one of my best pieces, um, although it gives me an idea for something in the future, which I can now kind of take and kind of implement into another project that I'm thinking about now with this sort of like pattern idea. Uh, but it's a little vase quite a strange one um, again I shouldn't have used the black milli put that's just basically put loads of black dots all over it really which is just absolutely stupid no idea why I've done that um, well I do know because I run out of the um, resin and I run out of the um, gold dust that I had so so that uh, just really um, put those in there to sort of like fill in the holes but it just looks stupid now so uh, there we go Anyway, I hope you kind of enjoyed watching that. Um, as I say, um, it's, it's not the best finish in the world. There are some imperfections, quite a few of them actually, uh, on this piece. But um, nevertheless, it's done now. So there it is. Mosaic was pencil, was pencil stroke, now mosaic vars that's it really i hope you liked it <laughs> thanks for watching oh you're having a laugh what oh my god oh let's do that again then so the vase doesn't work. I'm just not going to do this vase.